So hi everybody, I thought I'd just do a quick video on what to do when it rains. As we hear the army helicopters come over, we've recently had some more flooding again on the Gold Coast. Um, you might have heard even recently in the last few weeks we had major floods in Lismore and, and the Gold Coast and South East Queensland in general. Um, but for the business aspect of it, it has been quite challenging. We had about a week and a half off, I, I guess, in, in regards to normal scheduling. And then also just just yesterday and today, we've had about 350 mils overnight. So it's been quite substantial. Um, all the news crews are down here at the Oxenford Weir, which is sort of where I'm based in Oxenford on the Gold Coast. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a sight to behold, lots of water coming down. Um, but I just want to touch on a few things that I've learned in my baptism of fire in the first year uh, of my business. And the first thing is just relax. You know, it is, it is hard when you're in your first year of business specifically because you don't know what to expect. You haven't got the, the foresight, I guess, to, to see how the business will track after a year under your belt. Um, but now that I've been through a few of these, it's starting to get a bit easier. So, so just relax, take the time out. Don't go look at the window every five minutes waiting for the rain to clear. So you've got to make your call kind of early on it. If you're going to have substantial rain, just make the decision with your customers, let them know and try and relax. Because getting up and down, checking the window and, and seeing if you can go out there and work is not productive. And it's also not productive to go out there and, and you know dodge rain clouds and burn fuel trying to service customers when the lawns are even too wet. So, so sometimes it can take a few days for the lawns to dry out, particularly if you've had major weather, it could be a, a few days. So just something to take into account. Um, you know, take the opportunity to take your partner or loved one out or hang out with your family, do something relaxing and something that you'll enjoy. Uh, you could get a massage. Some guys is um, some guys put in their schedule every fortnight or so, they go and get a massage, particularly when you're with gyms and you're doing a lot of physical labor. I think that's a really good thing to do. Do something to, to um, you know, take care of your body, something to relax yourself and something to enjoy. Uh, the other thing is equipment maintenance. Plenty of opportunity there to be able to go and change some blades, change your oil, uh, make sure everything's function functioning as it should be so that you get, when you get to the ready to go again, you can go in there knowing your equipment's all fully serviced. A couple of things that I did today, I did a bit of debt collection. It is sort of sunny now, but pretty much with three quarters of the day, we had flat strap rain and um, the sun has just sort of peaked itself out behind the clouds, it's starting to break up a little bit. Um, I chased up some DVA or Department of Veteran Affairs invoices, which seems to be pretty common. Uh, checked some, some invoicing, zero, you know, doing your accounting, accounting and that sort of thing is also really good, uh, well used time. So if you're going to have the time off, also use it to be productive, to help your business along. You could follow up quotes, you could, you could chase up some further work, you could send some email campaigns out. Uh, lots of options there for looking for future work. Uh, the other thing is you get the opportunity to maybe, depending on how long, you can potentially make your your routes more condensed, depending on how far you've got to push back your job. So when you get that opportunity uh, with a bit of a, a rain issue, you can try to get everything tight in the suburbs. So if normally you've got a, a you know several suburbs in one of your days when you're first starting out it's a good opportunity to try to, to bring them all into a singular suburb so again you're more more efficient more profitable um, and at the end of the day hopefully you can get home earlier as well which is another bonus of that the one of the things that i do is i send out a script to my customers i have several scripts that i use for weather for following up payment so this is a really handy little thing to do um, I pretty much send out a little script to say that due to the weather issues, there may be some delays. Um, the other thing that I do practically as well with most of my customers, I have the automated 24 hour SMS that gives them um, a quick message to say that I'm due out the next day. I personally don't try to give a time frame unless it's really necessary um, because your day can change quite significantly. So you may have the one or two customers that you have a specific time. But in general, I try to keep it as broad as possible so that if I've got to go to a different job or I can pick up extra work, I'm not sort of necessarily set to that time frame. But some customers will need a specific time um, and that's something that just to consider with your scheduling. Um, 
the other thing too is if you've got like if you've got long delays you know it might go for a week we had we had weather recently that was like a week and a half off and you just couldn't catch up and sometimes that's going to be really difficult i know that for me i ended up just making making the decision to push everything back or yeah back by a week rather than try to catch everything up and muck up my schedule significantly because that does take a bit to fix up in your gym's job system or your scheduling system that you're using so just keep that in mind it might be easier if you've had quite a long time is just to push that push that all, all that work back a week forward um, and then you can sort of keep that schedule that you had prior So the other thing is um, just to double check so with the SMS reminders I said as well, just make sure if you do have those 24 hour reminders that you think about the time that they're due to go out. So with Jim's jobs, they generally go out between 8 a.m. in the morning, some sometime through the day. So I always make sure if I know that I've got delays for a couple of days because of rain, for my, basically probably for the rest of that week, I'll turn off SMS um, reminders just so there's no confusion when I wake up and then the weather's there and then the customer thinks I'm coming because an automated messages, messages come from Jim's jobs. Um, it just saves the confusion. Um, and each day that I, I wake up, I'll generally send them a manual SMS with, the, with that script I was talking about, just to say that there's been some delays and I'll get to you as soon as I can. So really important to obviously communicate with your customer. They understand it's raining. Um, majority, 99% of your customers will be fine with that. They won't bother you. They won't. You know, they won't be chasing you down. But I guess the best thing is to be proactive and go and do that um, and let them know and communicate with them first, rather than them having to chase you and giving that good customer service that we're so renowned for. So the other thing is just don't stress. The sun will come out um, and enjoy it while you can. So take the time off to re refresh and recuperate, and then you know get all your things in prepped and, and just try to use that time as effectively as possible for your business so that you can jump straight back into it. So hopefully that's helpful.